in this part which will be the last part of this uh, playlist on snacks ordering system with asp.net 5 razor pages and visual studio code we'll be learning about how to send the email and when we talk about email let me show you first what we will be achieving today now this is the finished product actually so i have come to uh, place your order from this page say for example just to order anything and you put an email address of the sender the person who is asking who is ordering and let it something be shipping address like One two three X Y Z Street, L A, and country is USA. Okay, just any fictional address, shipping address. One two one two three. Say place order. When you place order, if everything goes all right, you should receive a confirmation of your order. So, order confirmation. Thanks for your order. We are processing in. Your order and have sent a confirmation email. All right. So if you, this is the, where I should receive my email because it's all configured, and that's all I am going to. So this, basically, this is the email I received. Actually, your address is one two three X Y Z Street. Okay. So this has come from David Koshik at Gmail dot com, which is my Gmail address to this address that I have. Uh, written in the form okay so let's switch over to visual studio code so this one this was our stacks razor pages okay now first of all we'll change this uh, order success dot cshtml We'll add something to this code that we built in the last time. So that's why I've been telling that, you know, please go through all the first the previous parts before coming to this part. All right. So here we go. Now, prior to adding code for the email, we'll finish this off by adding this part of the code. Control S. Thank you for your order. We are processing your order and have sent a confirmation email just like we saw it in the actual email that was sent to the um, customer. Now we can pretty simply handle email in .NET by adding a using directory which is using system.net.mail and that part will be here in order.cshtml.cs. Okay. So here we have written an on post async method. We will be changing this. And before that, we'll be using in the using directory. We'll be bringing in this one. Using system.net.mail. Okay. And then we'll be changing the on post async method. So so this part I have to change. I need to change only if model dot model state dot is valid. So previously we were actually if it was valid, we were returning the order success page, and it was not valid, it was returning the order page itself for validation. So here now all I need to change is the model state dot is valid code. So I'll change it with the clipboard code. Now these, this is the user's email and this is, uh, it should be replaced with the valid, valid value. Similarly, the password needs to be replaced with the valid value. And here message dot from, you can create uh, from any email address. Okay. So it is not going to see whether it is a valid or invalid, but Network credential should be valid. Okay, so you must replace it with your valid Gmail address and the that particular Gmail address is password. This is only for a demonstration purpose I am showing, and it is because it is not a good 
to actually check it in with your email address and uh, password particularly the password okay it is it should be protected all right so after that now you must note that the email service providers like gmail typically do not allow you to send email from an address other than those associated with the account that you are using so you have to send it through the actual gmail account that's what i was saying and we shall need to allow a gmail account to send emails using external and less secure applications and now to enable this you have to go to a url and you will have to turn on less secure app access which is what i am going to show you now so you have to before running your code you have to configure this less secure app access to be on although they are telling this is recommended turn off the access your account is vulnerable because you allow apps and devices but this is also needed actually for allowing your gmail to be configured okay and you will note this um, url myaccount.google.com slash security all right so it is i can uh, i have once i have actually configured i can always turn it off okay you can just turn it on on off on off off on off okay right so that's all done thank you